Hey there, speculators, it's Rod. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your Futures Fanatic. Futures Fanatic is a YouTube channel for educational purposes only. Remember, don't eat yellow snow. Look both ways before crossing the street. Make sure you read this uh, risk disclaimer before you watch this video. Okay, let's get started. Uh, in light of the fact that Apex, trader funding, I talk a lot about prop trading. If you're not familiar with prop trading, you probably want to like, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, all that good stuff you'll learn about how you can learn how to trade the futures markets without risking your own money. Um, now, Apex is often running a bunch of these sales where they offer 90% <clears throat> discounts and uh, people sign up for many of these accounts. Tonight, I actually wanted to talk about two things. One, why you might want to sign up for multiple accounts, but actually before that, I really want to talk about how to look at these programs. I've done some content on this in the past, but what we're going to be talking about tonight is establishing a risk budget. Now, why should you care about establishing a risk budget when the firms tell you, quote unquote, what you can risk? Well, here's the problem. A lot of people, let's take this $25,000 account as example. You're not given anywhere close to $25,000. You start with a demo account. You're not given $25,000 even when you pass and you're in a funded account. What you are given is really access to risk. So your job to get through these programs, take profits, learn how to trade, all that good stuff, is to become a good risk manager and play the game that they're asking you to play. Don't hate the player, don't hate the game, whatever that saying is. Just follow the particular rules. Now, these rules are... Right here, if you like, uh, let me just highlight this. I think I got this working. Like you have this trailing threshold of $1,500, okay? If you have a trailing threshold of $1,500, in other words, when you, from a high water mark, don't worry about what the trailing threshold is. Let's just put it this way. You can't lose $1,500 in your account, okay? If you lose $1,500 in the account, you are out of the game. You have to reset or you're not, you don't qualify for funding, okay? So is your account $25,000? No, it's $1,500. Now, would you be a good risk manager if you were willing to lose 100% of your account? Like, let's say you put $1,500 of your own money in account and you're just going to blow $1,500. Well, maybe some of you would. I would suggest not doing that. Now, right now, and at the time I'm making this video, there's a sale going on. It's crazy. It's 90% off and then 80% every month thereafter. You can check out the description below for the details. That means that your first month is like 15 bucks on this $25,000 account. So, I get it. Some of you might go, well, YOLO, whatever, I'm just going to blow through this. But that's actually toxic kind of behavior. I talk about it in this video, in this video, in this video, a bunch of other videos. Uh, a lot of people are not sort of getting the message, so I want to uh, say it in a different kind of way, which is um, how do you establish a risk budget? What you should, And by the way, when I refer to a risk budget, that's a daily risk budget. In other words, for your trading session, the futures markets trade 23 hours a day, you should impose a self-imposed daily risk budget of somewhere around 10 to 15% of what the firm allows you to lose. So let's give an example. $1,500, if I did 10%, right? I went to California schools. My math isn't that good, but I think that's 150 bucks, okay? So $150. That's your risk budget for the session. Many people are focused on the strategy and the per trade risk or the risk reward per trade or where their stop and target is. Those things are fine. They're important. You can, uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of saying that uh, you need to have, you know, firm set risk per trade or anything like that. You certainly can't use some of the, like, uh, a lot of the time you might see where they talk about 2% risk per trade. You can't do that in these programs. You're going to risk 2% of $1,500. Remember, your entire account on this $25,000 account is $1,500. That's the way you should look at it. So in a $1,500 account, 10% is $150, and 2% of that is going to be an amount that you can't risk on any different, certainly enough, you're going to trade mini contracts, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. In other words, the only way to actually maintain this risk budget of $150 and not violate it is, uh, is to trade the micros. Now, if you're, if you're wondering like, hey, I'll do it a different way, or I've seen guys show that they can make $1,000 a day or $500 a day or consistently this or consistently that, or they're showing their withdrawals and all these kinds of things, that's fantastic. There's Lots of ways to make and lose money. But I do want to show you that I kind of backing this up here. These are all of my Apex accounts that I have actively going on right now. I take it super slow. And I do it only for educational purposes. A lot of time I don't even fund them. Now, why I don't do that is for other reasons. I don't really need to. Um, but I think they're an amazing, amazing educational tool. And I want everyone to know that if you establish a risk budget and stick to that risk budget, your strategy is actually secondary to that, okay? Now, I have a trade room where I talk about various strategies and I find that mean reversion trading strategies are best for these particular, uh, these particular programs, but I don't really mind, or nor should you, whatever kind of strategy you wanna use and what, un, under whatever kind of market environment they happen to be. But the first thing you have to do that's non-negotiable is you have to establish a risk budget, 
okay? You have to establish a risk budget, okay? And your risk budget, ooh, that looks terrible. Your risk budget is informed by the amount of actual risk that you can take, which in this case is 100% of your account. Now, if you just took 10% of that and again went to 150, and why am I repeating myself? I saw this comedian the other day said that, uh, un unfortunately for now, most trading is done by guys, men, whatever. Uh, we, need, we need more women involved in trading, that's for sure. But if let's say 90% of us are, are dudes, uh, we don't listen very well, and we need to be told things three times. That's why it says XXX, nude, nude, nude. You know, I thought it was a funny joke. Anyway, the point is here, I'm going to tell you one more time. You need to establish a risk budget, a daily self-imposed risk budget, and then your only job as a trader is to not violate that risk budget, okay? To not violate that risk budget. So where do you, where's your stop? Your stop is anytime you see your, your profit and loss and you're down near $150, you're done in that trade, you're done for the day. Now, can many of you do that? It seems like a lot of folks are not capable of doing that or because of these very low prices, 90% uh, off first month at Apex right now using code TDG9080, uh, I'll put it in the description below. And at the time you're watching this video, it seems like Apex and many of these firms are going to be offering these discounts for a while. And by the way, just really quick aside, it's not because they're hurting and they are not able to pay out traders or any of those conspiracy theories or anything like that. They're just adapting to the market. And the fact is that a lot of traders will buy multiple accounts at these very low prices and they'll gamble with a bunch of them and create toxic types of behavior. Uh, and... Why not give the market what they want? And these firms have a set fixed cost. So as soon as you buy more than a couple accounts, they're actually making money even at these very low prices. So they're not doing some kind of crazy loss leader where they lose money to try to you know, get as many people in the, do in the door. It's actually not the case. It's the fact that for the very small percentage of people that understand how to play this right by establishing a daily risk budget, you can actually use leverage properly. And they are actually kissing a lot of toads to find a certain amount of princes. And that's why they've just gone with these sort of low cost uh, programs. Now you might think otherwise, happy to leave a question or a comment down below. Uh, I, love, um, I, love, I love the interwebs and the nature of the comments. Anyhow, all right, so establish a daily risk budget, keep your risk small. Uh, let me show you, uh, let me see where I have it over here. So here I'm logged in to, uh, to Tradevate and I have several accounts in here as well. And these are all about the same balance of, so slow and steady, 25,486 in this account. Uh, let's see this one here, I don't know, 25,515. And the profit objective is to get to uh, $26,500. As you can see over here on this screen here, here's the profit objective is, well, let me move this out of the way. Oops, get my, my, my uh, what, is this, what is that called? Whiteboard, whiteboard skills, whiteboard skills. Okay, so the other thing I want to point out is you can trade four micros or 40, uh, excuse me, four minis or 40 micros. In these programs, all of these programs, okay, don't trade minis. Just do not trade minis, okay? Don't trade minis. There is no shortcut here. I've done a bunch of videos where a lot of people like to argue with me, which is cool. Um, no problem. Uh, but if you want the type of success that's possible, if you just uh, go slow and steady, acorns to oak trees, and establish a daily risk budget, you can get something like what we have here on our daily P&L, which is, I mean, th th this, is, this is big for our group. This is more typical for our group, right? Slow and steady. There you go. $40.25 across a couple different accounts. Here's $321 across a couple bunch. Of, let me move this. Let me get this. Uh, sorry. Get this out of the way. There we go. Um, so again, I could, I could go all day here where you see these types of, here you go, $90 and 24 cents across a bunch of accounts. Now here's, here's another one. Okay. So it's slow and steady and it's the concept of establishing a risk budget. Okay. So give yourself a risk budget and then you can go over to, uh, to any of these firms. I'm talking about Apex right now. And most of the rules are very, very much the same. Now, the other question I get is when can you actually in increase that risk budget. Now, I won't go through the entire formula here because this video is already getting a little long, um, but you start with 10% of the available trailing threshold. And if you're looking to increase your risk budget, you actually have to be capable of making more money than your actual risk budget. So what we do in my trade room is we actually, uh, we look at our days as this. We talk about something like a big G day or a small G day 
or a small R day or a big R day. Now, what does that mean? Big G day means that if your risk budget was $150, 10% of a $25,000 account, and you made $175, you had a big G day. You exceeded your risk budget, okay? If your risk budget was between zero and $150, which is your risk budget, if your profit was, then you have a small G day, and the opposite is true here. The only thing you need to avoid is big R days. What would a big R day be on a $25,000 account if you're using the formula that I gave you? It would be you have lost in that session more than $150, okay? Now, could you lose $150 trading a single mini in three points? Yeah, you'd be done. You'd blow out your entire risk budget, okay? But with the smaller contracts, the MYM, the, 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 which is the Dow Jones, or the MES, which is the, uh, the micro uh, S&P contract, it's more difficult, not impossible at all, to exceed that risk budget without actually just knowing, okay, I got to hit the close button and I'm done for today. I'm not seeing the market clearly or my strategy is not uh, working for the particular market environment. Now, if you had a $150 risk budget and, right, and you have a, you have a $1,500 total tr uh, trailing drawdown, don't worry about trailing versus end of day. This is this nonsense that everyone's worried about. It's, if you use this formula, it's not going to be a factor for, for you to consider. By the way, that's inside baseball. If you're not familiar with that at all, just think of, hey, you can lose $1,500 in your account. You'd have to lose 10 days in a row. Your max loss 10 days in a row or 10 days over the course of your valuation to actually blow up or have to start again or have an account that's not um, <clears throat> eligible for funding, okay? Is that possible? Sure, it's possible, but it's very difficult to do. So let's use the D word. It's just discipline. That's all it is. I will be doing more content, hopefully, on strategies and approaches and looking at charts, of course. We'll do all those kinds of things, but that's not even important. The important thing to do is just play the game properly. If you were playing Miss Pac-Man or whatever in the 80s where I grew up, and you get three lives, right? You get three lives. You can get extra lives in some games, but you get three lives. You make different decisions depending on how many lives you have because at the very end, once you're out of lives, you're out of the game, right? So this $1,500 is the lives that you have in these programs. Don't exceed them and you can stay in the game. You can live to trade another day. Uh, you don't get involved in all this toxic uh, dopamine, serotonin nonsense around uh, you know, resetting these accounts or having them cost. If you can get something for 15 bucks and $30 every, every month going forward, that's cheaper than the data or anything else. Just take advantage of it, buy one, buy a few of them, go extremely small and steady, slow. Again, why am I continuing to repeat myself? Because I just feel like I need to. XXX, nude, nude, nude. You're gonna hear it three times. Establish a daily risk budget, trade micros, stay small, and you will find different types of success in these types of programs. Okay, real quick, one last thing is, uh, if you're newer here to the channel, it really does help if you actually uh, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, uh, encourages me to make more content of which you can probably see I haven't been making uh, much content at all. Um, and the final thing is, if you made it to this end of this video, watch this quick message. Well, hello there. I thought I'd interrupt my own YouTube video to just bring you this quick reminder that uh, I don't sell any courses or anything like that, let courses. Uh, I do have a trade room and all of my courses, teaching and training is included in that trade room. So there's a paid service as trade room, but you can get access to uh, my absolutely free Futures Fanatic Foundation course by just going over to tradersdevgroup.com in case I don't leave it in the link below. That's tradersdevgroup.com and you're just gonna hit get started for free right here. When you do that, it's gonna take you to this page right here. I just need a valid email and then you're gonna get instant access to the Futures Fanatic Foundation course, which looks like this. This is a 30 lesson 30 video lesson course that's extremely comprehensive, no, no fluff and BS here, but it does cover the entire spectrum of everything you might need to know about futures trading, as well as a lot of tips and tricks around being a professional futures trader for your health, for a variety of other things. So I've gotten great rave reviews. I sold this for several years for about 300 bucks. It's now completely free. It used to be called uh, Futures on Fire. It's been rebranded as the Futures Fanatic course, but most of the videos still say uh, Futures on Fire, but don't mind that. It's also going to have a bunch of resources and other things that will show you how to get started with at least the stuff that I do here and give you a head start on everything future. So again, make sure you navigate your way over to tradersdevgroup.com. Look in the description below and I'll put a link to this. Hit get started for free and get instant access to the Futures Fanatic Foundation course. All right, now back to whatever the heck I was talking about in the video you were watching.
because you'll find out how you can get access to my free 30-day course as well as to my trade room for 10 days for absolutely nothing if you're interested in finding out how we do it the TDG Futures Fanatic way. That'll be it for tonight. My name is Rod, the Futures Fanatic, reminding you to one more time establish a daily risk budget, stick to that daily risk budget, think risk first, and you'll, you'll find that you are on a different path than most traders when it comes to these particular programs. We'll see you later. Thank you.